Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part five of the same topic. So we have done uh, 11 questions from the previous exercise. You can just have a look at the that video. So we'll start with question number 12. So Rohan obtained 648 marks out of 800 and Rahman obtained 480 marks out of 600 in mathematics. Whose performance is better? So now let us see the Rohan's percentage. What is it? That is 648 out of 800. So we want a percentage. So you will write here 648 divided by 800. And because it's a percentage, we are going to multiply by 100. So these two zeros get cut. So 8 ones are 881. So this is going to be 81 percentage. Now let us look for the Rahman's percentage. So now this is 480 out of this 600. So now 480 divided by 600 because percentage means again multiply by 100. These two zeros get cut. So this will be six ones are and six eighties are. So this is 80%. So they said whose performance is better. So definitely this is 81% that is bigger than 80. So Rohan's percentage is better. A school team won eight games this year against six games last year. What is the percentage increase? So now increase will be now from eight minus six. That is going to be increase of two. So now we want a percentage increase. So percentage increase means the increase divided by how much was the start last year? Not this year. We have to see the old one. That is the last year. So that is we are going to divide it by six. So be careful with this one. Not eight, but six because this was last year. And this is for this year into because original was six. So this we can remember that is divided by original. So by six into 100. So two ones are two threes are that will be 100 by three. So if you wanted it, this one in decimals, so you can write here when you divide it, you get 33.33 .33, or you can make it to mix one that will be 33 integers one by three percentage. If the price of a notebook has been increased from rupees two to rupees 16 in 20 years, by what percentage has the price gone up? So increases from what? From this one from two to 16. So 16 minus two is means how much is the increase? That is 14. So percentage increase will be 14 out of this one. What was the original was two in 200. See again, the original is two. So we are going to write here the original. So now this is going to be two ones are two sevens are. So that is going to be 700%. So we can write here the price of the notebook has increased by 700 percentage. Gita spends rupees 8,000 every month on her family expenses for an income of rupees. 12,000. Find the percentage of an income which is spent every month. So percentage spent that is going to be how much? That is 8,000 out of how much? That is out of 12,000. And since it is a percentage, we are going to multiply by 100. So these three zeros get cut. So this will be four twos are and four threes are. So this will be 22 by three. So this will be when you divide this, you get either if you want in decimal, it will be 66.67 percentage. This is approximate or 66 integers 2 by 3 percentage. So see here again, I'll show you how to do it. 3, 6, 18. This 2 is 20. 3, 6, 18. So the remainder is 2. So we can write here 66 integers. This 2 by 3. So this is here. So Gita spent 66.67 percentage approximately. Or you can just write this one. Both is the same. A football team won. 75% of the total number of matches it played during a year. If it lost five matches in all and no match was drawn, find the total number of matches played during the year. So we have to find the total number of matches played during the year. So let the total number of matches be X. So one is how much? That is what? 75% of the total number of matches. So what is the total number of matches? We don't know. So we'll write here 75% of total number of matches. And lost is how much? five matches in all so five that will be this is one is 75 so the lost is going to be 100 minus 75 so that is going to be 25 so be careful with this one by writing this one this so this is 25 percent so 25 percent of the total masses and now it is given here five matches it is it lost if it lost 
5 matches. So it is losing 5 matches. So in place of this loss, we'll write 5. It's 25% of total number of matches. We have considered this as x. So this will be 5 as it is. 25 percentage means this will be 25 by 100 of means multiplication and this is x. So this goes here. So that will be multiplied by 100 and this goes in the denominator. So that will be divided by 25 is x. So 25, we can write a 5 ones are 5 fives are or 5 ones are 5 twenties. So this is x is equal to 20. So we can write a total number of matches played. That is what there was is 20. Find the total of matches played. Irfan is 15% heavier than Amit. If Irfan is 69 kg, what is the weight of Amit? So let Amit's age be, uh, sorry, the weight, uh, the weight is given here, the weight be x kilogram. So Irfan's weight is, what did they say, 15% 15, 15 he heavier than Amit. So x plus then 15% 15 per 15 means we can write here, that is, sorry for this one, that is x plus 15% of x. So weight because that is 15% heavier than Amit. So now Irfan's weight is given as 69 kg. So you will write here 69 x plus 15 percent means 15 by 100 into x so this will be as it is this will be as it is so when you multiply this one 15 x divided by 100 so lcm is 100 so this is going to be 100 x plus 15 so it will be 115 x by 100 or you can also simplify your 5 threes and 5 twenties and you can write both ways you are going to get the same answer so now what will you do? This you are going to multiply. So it will go in the numerator. This will go in the denominator. So that will be, when you simplify this one, you will get here 523s are and 520s are. Then 23 ones are 23. 3s are will be 69. So it is going to be 60 is equal to x. So Amit's wages, that is x we are considered. That is the Amit's weight. That is 60 kilogram. Ayush got 210 marks in an examination and failed by 18 marks. If 38% is passing percentage, passing percentage they have said, find the maximum marks. So we'll consider this marks, maximum marks as x. So total marks is how much now see here? This is 210, he got 210 and failed by 18 marks means the total passing marks were 210 plus 18. So this is very important. So this you have to add first to get the total mark. So total mark is 210 plus 18. So that is going to be 228. So now passing marks is how much is given if 38% is passing percentage. So this is 38%. So what will you do? 38% of what? That is the maximum marks. They have asked for the maximum marks. 38% of X is, what is this? This total marks. This step is important. So. 38% means we will divide it by 100. Multiplication, x will be 228. So x is going to be 228. This goes on the side that is going to get multiplied and this will go in, go in the denominator. So this is the step. So what will you write here? 38 ones are 38, 6 are. So this will be 600. So x is 600. So what we have considered x as the maximum marks, that is what they asked. So we can say maximum marks are 600. A car costing rupees 2,76,000 drop 10% of its value in a year. How much will its worth be at the end of the year? So the original cost is given as this one 2,76,000 and it is dropping 10%. So decrease in cost, that is the decrease in cost. So we can say original cost is 2,76,000 and it is dropping 10% of its value, means from the original value. So decrease in cost is 10% of the always of its value means that is going to be the original value. So this will be 10 by 100 into 276,000. So these two zeros get cancelled. So this when you multiply this one, so that is going to be 27,600. So that's a decrease in the value by 27,600. So now they, how much will the worth, will its worth be at the end of the year? So new value is what? Original cost minus decrease in cost. Original is 2,76,000 minus this 27,600. So that is going to be 2,48,400. So the card's worth at the end of the year will be, that is 2,48,400. The speed of the train is 60 km per hour. Find the speed of the train if its speed is increased by 25% 
and then they said decrease by 10 percent so now let us see first for this part for the a part so the speed of the train that is given these are the given things 60 kilometer per hour so now if the speed is increased by 25 percent so what was that this was the speed 60 and then you are going to add this one 60 this trade this one 25 percent of 60 that is 16 to 25 percent of 25 percent of 60 both is the same so what will you write is 60 plus 16 to 25 percent means 25 by 100 so this is going to be 25 ones are because see this is the other term this is one term this because there's a plus sign in between so this we can solve separately don't mix up this with this first later on we can do it in the other step we can add it so now 25 ones are 25 fours are four ones are and four fifteens are so this is one one term so what did you get here you got here 15 so this is 60 plus 15 so that is going to be 65 kilometer per hour and now they said decrease by 10 percent so decrease by 10 percent means from 60 what you have to do here it means you have to put the sub this you have to subtract it so 60 into this 10 percent so 60 into this part that is 60 into 10 by 100 so this this gets cut this this gets cut so this is going to be 6 so 60 minus 6 that is 54 kilometer per hour now 40 percent of which figure from the following has been shaded these three figures have been given so now what you have to do in this case first we have to count the because all are the same only the thing is the shading part is different because all the three things the total is going to be the same so what you will be right here one two three four five then five and this will be from here is four so what will you do here five was a twenty 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this also are same 20 and this also our squares are 20. So now we will see from this one because this when we consider this 20 means that is going to be 100%. So we have to see that 40% of this which is shaded and which is the right one. So now we have seen 100% means the 21 because the total number is 20. So we want 40% of it. So below this percentage you are going to write at 40% will be how much so you are going to cross multiply so what will you write here 14 to 20 that will go in the numerator because whenever there are two numbers when you cross multiply that goes in the numerator and a single number goes in the denominator so 14 to 20 divided by 100 this 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 gets cancelled so that is going to be 8 so where can you see 8 8 which are shaded so in the first one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you can say figure a is 40 40 percent shaded Avantika got 84 marks in an examination, which is 20% more than Raju's. How much did Raju get? So what we can do like here, let Raju's marks be, this is because we want to know how much did Raju get be X. Avantika, Avantika's marks that is given as 84. So now Avantika's percentage is what is get in an examination, which is 20% more than Raju's. So what is that? Raju's is X plus this it will be 20% of x because it is 20% more than that. So this will be, and how much is that marks is? So below this we'll write 84. x plus 20% 20 means 20 by 100 into x. So now this is the other part. So now we can do it separately. Two ones are, two fives are. So this will be 84 as it is. So this will be x plus, this will be x divided by 5. So now what will you do? You will take the LCM of this one. So this is 5, 5x five plus x. So 84 is 5x plus x divided by 5. So what we happen here, this will go, we, first we can write 84 is equal to 6x by 5. So now this will be 84 into 5 is equal to 6x. So this is going to be 420 is equal to 6x. So this is multiplication. So that is going to be 420 divided by 6 is equal to x. So this is going to be 70. So x is 70 marks. So that is what they have asked, largest marks. So we can say, therefore, Raju got 70 marks. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.